To meet the demand for quality poultry, it's critical to focus on the overall health of the chickens. One of the most effective ways to help ensure an animal population is healthy is to vaccinate. Vaccines mimic natural infections, but allow an animal to build immunity to a disease without harmful effects. This video will review why and how to spray vaccinate your flocks to stimulate immunity in growing birds and their progeny. Immunity develops when a healthy bird is exposed to either a pathogen or a vaccine and then mounts an immune response to fight it off. Stimulating immunity through vaccination is better for the chick because vaccines do not make birds sick like natural infections do. Another advantage of vaccination is that vaccines can be given before an anticipated disease challenge arrives. By developing solid protection before exposure to a pathogen, birds have less disease impact and continue to grow. Vaccinations provide the best possible protection from disease challenges in the field. When you immunize pullets, you are helping to immunize their offspring. Pullet vaccination stimulates antibody production. At hen maturity, these antibodies are then passed to chicks through the yolk, and the antibodies are absorbed during embryo development inside the egg. These maternal antibodies are the source of protection for young chicks their first few weeks of life. They protect chicks against common disease agents they will be exposed to before they mount their own immune response. Poultry vaccines can be either inactivated or live. Inactivated vaccines, also called killed vaccines, are created by growing the selected agent or agents in a laboratory and then inactivating them by physical or chemical processes. Inactivated vaccines often contain an adjuvant because they do not replicate in the host and therefore do not stimulate a strong immune response on their own. Inactivated vaccines are injected directly into the animal by the intramuscular or subcutaneous route, and booster vaccination is common. There are four common types of live vaccines. They include avirulent, attenuated, vectored, and chimera vaccines. Live vaccines can replicate in the host and therefore stimulate a more robust immune response without needing an adjuvant or a booster vaccination. Live vaccines should always be administered according to the label and to the entire flock at one time. This helps prevent rolling reactions. Avirulent vaccines are created from naturally occurring organisms that have been selected because they do not cause disease but stimulate immunity to related pathogens of interest. These organisms are not changed in the process of vaccine development. Attenuated vaccines are created by modifying the disease agent or agents to weaken them. When an attenuated vaccine is administered to the bird, it might trigger a mild form of the disease. The agent replicates in the bird, which stimulates an immune response. A vectored vaccine contains immune-stimulating genetic material from one disease agent incorporated into another, often a virulent carrier agent. The incorporation process is called vectoring. A chimeric vaccine contains genetic material from related organisms incorporated into a disease agent of the same origin. This novel technology stimulates immunity with the benefit of more diverse antigenicity and reduced clinical impact. When chickens are properly immunized, they are healthier, more able to fight off disease challenges and grow better. In this way, pullet vaccination programs are the cornerstone to chick health. Remember, maternal antibodies from hens protect chicks in early life, while their immune system is developing and getting exposed to the ever-present disease agents in the environment. Calculating the value of proper pullet vaccination, one unvaccinated hen with an 83% hatch rate produces 126 unprotected chicks in one year. At $1.85 per pound, that's a potential loss of $1,924. If just 10% of a 10,000 head pullet house was missed by improper vaccination procedures, the annual estimated impact on progeny performance would be nearly $2 million due to lack of protection against endemic disease agents early in life. Vaccines are invaluable tools for modern poultry production because they provide strong, long-lasting immunity when correctly administered. Live vaccines have a rapid onset and an easy, well-established method for large-scale application. However, care must be taken to properly store and handle live vaccines 
and to properly administer live vaccines to large populations. Adverse reactions occur when vaccines are applied incorrectly or inappropriately. Live spray administered vaccines must be stored at temperatures from 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit or two to seven degrees Celsius in refrigerators that are clearly marked vaccine storage only. These refrigerated units must have temperature monitors with alarms. Spray vaccines should not be frozen at any time as temperature swings will compromise the efficacy of the vaccine. Keep all vaccines in their original packaging to ensure you have the product you need. When preparing to vaccinate a flock, keep vaccines in coolers with ice packs to maintain appropriate temperature until use. Prevent temperature swings as well as exposure to sunlight as these will reduce vaccine effectiveness. Reconstitute the required vaccine at the time of vaccination. Use a new unopened vaccine each time you vaccinate chickens. Never use vaccines that are expired or have been improperly stored, such as being left on a counter or inadvertently frozen. Always prepare vaccines in a clean, well-lighted space that is free of contaminants. Do not prepare more vaccine than can be used in 45 minutes. Birds should always be vaccinated early in the morning to reduce the potential for heat stress and to take advantage of other early morning benefits, including cooler house temperatures, darkness, calm and quiet animals, etc. When it's time to vaccinate, bring only the required amounts of vaccine to the farm. Always use a fresh pair of disposable gloves when preparing vaccine. The first step of preparing for spray vaccination is to calculate the volume of cool, distilled water to add to the sprayer tank for accurate dilution of the vaccine for the number of birds to be vaccinated. Refer to the vaccine instructions for the correct volume and reach out to your Beringer Ingelheim representative with questions. If non-distilled water is being used, a vaccine stabilizer should be added to protect the vaccine from the harmful effects of chlorine. Next, to dissolve vaccine, gently place the freeze-dried vaccine, or pellets, in a small sterile container with approximately one half gallon of distilled water. Gently stir the vaccine solution only after vaccine has dissolved. Rinse vaccine vials with distilled water and add that liquid to the vaccine solution. This helps ensure all the vaccine gets into the solution. Only mix enough vaccine for one house at a time and use within 45 minutes. Pour the vaccine solution into the sprayer tank and mix the contents. Ideally, only one vial of vaccine should be dissolved at a time. Otherwise, if multiple vials are needed, once dissolved, they should be mixed into the tank solution immediately. For proper dosing of pullets, always round to the nearest 5,000 doses. Poultry vaccines, which are often administered via spray, include infectious bronchitis virus, IBV, Newcastle disease virus, NDV, infectious bursal disease, IBD, avian rheovirus, ARV, and coccidiosis. Once the prep work has been done, you are ready to vaccinate. Wearing safety goggles and a mask, walk with an even stride and strong pace down the center of the house when you administer the vaccine. Apply vaccine as you walk the length of the house and back, making a total of two passes over the birds. Application sprayers have either a single or double nozzle. Spray the house continuously while walking, either moving the single nozzle sprayer in an arc pattern from side to side, or using the double nozzle sprayer to spray both sides at once. Direct the cone of the spray slightly above the bird's heads, not directly on the birds. Keep the nozzle at a 45 degree angle relative to the floor. Be sure to cover the entire house. Move the birds without excitement to either side of the house, but do not crowd them. Spray all birds, and be sure to use all the vaccine solution in the sprayer. Once vaccination is complete, thoroughly clean, rinse, and sanitize the sprayer. Clean the sprayer using a brush and warm soapy water. Then, disinfect it using alcohol or a bleach solution. Always inspect and clean the inside of the tank, as well as all nozzles, keeping an eye out for algae, biofilm, and mineral buildup. Four to 10 days after vaccination, you may see head shaking, louder breathing, and or watery eyes, depending on which vaccine was administered. Mild reactions are desirable and indicate immunization. Vaccination audits should be conducted periodically to ensure proper handling, mixing, spraying, and cleaning. 
When best practices are consistently performed throughout the vaccination process, vaccine efficacy is assured. Roughly three weeks after vaccination, blood samples from vaccinated flocks are often tested for antibodies to monitor the vaccination process. Antibody titers, or levels, should be consistent and high after this amount of time, with little variability between samples. Uniform and high antibody titers are evidence vaccination was performed correctly. Spray vaccination is a routine process in poultry production. When the procedures and best practices described in this video are followed routinely, they result in repeatable, strong, and robust flock immunization. Call your veterinarian if you have any questions. Remember, the health and the quality of our flocks is all our responsibility.